Hey my loves, it's Mandy, aka Mandy Licious. How are you guys doing today? I wanted to get on here and talk about forgiveness today. Um forgiveness is huge, guys. Like I forgave my mom, I forgave my kid's father, um, and I hope anybody that I've hurt or anything in life that they have forgiven me. But I want to tell you guys something. It took me 14 years to forgive my my kid's father and it took my son looking at me and saying, Mom, you really need to forgive him. And I was like, Psh, you're crazy, son. Like, look at all the stuff he did to me. And I was, I, I didn't deserve it. But I want to tell you guys something. Even my mother, I love my mom, rest in peace. But I just found out after she died that um, the reason why all the things happened to me and my twin sister before my twin died is that the day my mom and my dad got in an argument, he left with some buddies and they got a car accident and he got killed that night. So my mom's pregnant with us twins in her belly. And what happened is that she had guilt, shame, but mind you all, all growing up until she died. Cause my, my stepfather told me why she was the way she was. Um, but I came three and a half years ago to take care of my mother from Florida. I came to Ohio and what happened those three and a half years ago was that, she was drinking, you know, she's an alcoholic. And I used to say, mom, why don't you smoke that wacky tobacco? You know, I was just, I was just trying to get her to, you know, I, I couldn't make her stop, but like the drinking, she would fall every night and I moved from Florida and she didn't tell me she wanted to die, but all the actions were there. And what she did was that, um, what she did is she was falling every night and I didn't want to be the last one to pick her up. So like in my mind, I was going crazy six months straight. I moved back to Florida when she was two weeks sober. I felt bad at first, but it was the only time she could take care of herself and, and cook and clean because um, she had been an alcoholic for years. And I just, uh, I was messed up. I was really messed up. So I moved back to Florida. And then I came back up last October to take care of her because you know why? I forgave her. And if I did not forgive my mother, I wouldn't have got those last three months with her. So... I want you guys to realize and understand forgiveness is huge. Like since I have forgiven my kid's father and certain things and people in my life that, you know, even down to the people that molested or anything to any of us when I was you know, younger. And a lot of us, one thing that happens to us is that some days we don't understand why our body is, um, our body is like, you know, just all messed up. But in our mind, we're like, what? what's wrong with our body, you know? Because what people fail to realize is that just like uh, my brother's birthday is, I think it's tomorrow, it's today's date, but uh, anything with trauma that we have in our life, our body does not, even though our mind might forget or we might not understand everything or remember everything, our bodies still feel that trauma. Like if you break, if you break your, your knee, once every, whenever, it's still going to, it's just, it's hard to explain it, guys, but. I just want you guys to know forgiveness is huge. It's huge. It's huge because even growing up trying to fight for my mother's love as a daughter, like, what did I do to deserve this? In all reality, it was every time she looked at me and my twins, she was seeing, she was seeing our father and my mom was married five times, but our father was supposed to be the love of her life and love at first sight, you know? So I just, I just want everybody to know, like, forgiveness forgiveness and it's it's actually one of the hardest things in the world to do it's very hard because one thing with forgiveness is 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 um you also it loses the control that the people have over you so if i've been molested you know like in my past and that person is in my mind every day in all reality that person has control over my life and they would never even know it or they would know it They'll know it lasts forever. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's it's pretty dark energy out here, but I want you guys to know, just you just forgive, try to forgive, find find a place to you know humble yourself, vulnerable because, like I said, forgiveness is one of the hardest things in the world, but it is also the best feeling when it's done. You can say, I believe it or not, I get you know my kid's father has come over a few times and. That's huge. Like, it's not like I sit and talk to him all day and night or anything. As you know, he comes to see, see my son and, um, because I forgave him. And it feels so good to forgive somebody and say hi and bye and not have all that anger, all that turmoil, all that hatred. It's hard, guys. It's not, it's not, it's not just like, oh, okay, I, I forgive. 
And you know when you truly know you forgive is when you can actually be around that situation or that person and not feel all the anger, animosity. It's a great feeling, guys. And I just want you guys to know, stay strong. We got this. There's hope. And I love you guys. Take care and have a great day.